My name is Andre Morales, and I had a perfect life, a beautiful wife, and a loving family. But every family has its breaking point. Andre, Andre! Yes, my love. I'm having my breaking point with this family. What has come over me? I am not myself anymore. Will you take me away, Andre? Will you take me to the Sahara? Please, my love. My love, if you desire. Oh, my love, thank you. I would give my left arm for you. I will take you away on an aeroplane. Look, my love, we will go to Sahara with the morning light. And in these moments, we go to find ourselves again, to lose ourselves in ourselves. We become lost, perdido in Zahara. In Zahara, Marta was carefree. She had the comfort of her friend Sara, and we could enjoy leisurely walks through town. We cherished our view from the via and treasured our trips into the city and celebrated the beauty of life with wonderful friends, but somehow this trip seemed different. We were not our usual chatty selves, so I asked to go see friends. Can we go visit Sarah and her new boyfriend? Well, if you want. She seemed forgetful of the directions. I think it's down that street, uh, maybe on this side. Are you sure? I think so. Yes, yes, this way. My love, I don't think this is it. Let's walk. My love, you should know where your best friend lives. I thought this was it. Uh, let me look inside. Let's look in this window. Oh, baby. My buttercup, let's try this town. Don't you even know which town your best friend lives in? Where you find it if you're so smart. Oh, my love. This building. What a jerk! I thought this was it. Oh, she probably thinks I'm a jerk. So silently we drove looking for our friends, losing ourselves. Our relationship was gone. To conquer my loneliness, 
I spent my mornings talking to myself and my afternoons wandering aimlessly down the street. I even completed my PhD thesis entitled Quirks of Evolution, the Barbary Ape Butt. I finally realized that something was not right with Marta. She was misleading me. Marta, you have misled me. I have not. How can you say such a thing? There is only one car in town and you have led us to a traffic jam. As I turned the car around to go back home, I thought that maybe she was misleading me about something else, too. During a long walk that day, it struck me. She was cheating or cheating or cheating or cheating or cheating or cheating on me. I felt alone, like an observer in my own life. Even my wonderful children began to irritate me. And then suddenly the clues fell into place. She no longer wanted me to see her friends. The sneaky visits into strange buildings. The surreptitious phone calls. Who was she calling? The secret chats with her best friend Sarah. Who were they talking about? Who was this scoundrel who stole the love of my life? I pray that it was anyone, anyone except that greasy frog. in mysterious ways. I would take her for a long walk to our favorite spot and end our marriage. We'll go to our favorite spot. If you insist. Let's go. Okay. Like the wind lost in the trees and the footprints lost in the sea and the sun lost in the sky. My soul was lost in the night and my love was perdido in Zahara. <laughs> 